Oh, Buffy, look at you. <laughs> Such a good girl. Good morning, guys. It is the post-apocalyptic thunderstorm. You wanna go for a ride? <laughs> She's like, yes, yes, I wanna go for a ride. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the day. I had a cancellation this morning. So freaking upsetting. It's like, it's like your boss telling you that you don't work that day so that you don't get any money that day. And money's what makes the world go around, apparently. So, ooh, that wasn't cookies. That was my, my butt ringing. Oh, I haven't showed you my ladybug. You guys gotta see my ladybug. So those are my aphids that are growing on my, that are living on my plant. And when Phoenix was here the other day, he noticed this. I don't know how he noticed it. It's so tiny, but he noticed a ladybug. A ladybug on my plant. The reason why that is so cool is because ladybugs eat bad things that grow in your garden, like aphids. I sprayed these with um, like uh, soapy water. And then the next day, uh, the ladybug showed up. And he's been there for, shoot, he's been there for two days now. It's a ladybug. Can you say ladybug? No, don't eat the ladybug. There will be no eating of the ladybug. The update on Troy's crack. Uh, it's, it's plateaued and now it's going straight across still. So that's good. As long as it keeps going straight or down, we're okay. Stupid crack. The longer I live, the more I completely see this on days that you don't make money or days that you don't have work or the days that you spend the most money. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I was in the restaurant business for like a number of years and it, and also the automotive business. And it's interesting that like days that are slow are also the days that you go and take care of things like, you know, doing lights or repairing things and then you spend money. So it's just interesting to me that days that you don't do anything, that you don't bring anything in are also the days that you have the most expenditures. I don't know, just a little, a little, uh, Again, it's my thought vlog. It's just my thoughts. It's, it's what goes on up here. And something does go on up there. It, it, well, at least I think it does. Oh, you guys know what that means. Look at that. It's a firework stand. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. It is happening. The 4th of July is upon us almost. It's around the corner. Keep in mind that a lie is something that you say that you know deliberately is not the truth. Okay? So yesterday I did not know that we were going to be back at Hagen, 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 Schlagen, Logen, Bogen. I, I don't know whatever, however you pronounce it. That's why. That's one of the reasons why I'm glad it's turning back to Albertsons is I can pronounce Albertsons. The morel mushrooms. If you guys have ever had morels, you will know the the awesome, yummy deliciousness that they possess when they are in your belly or on the way down to your belly. Um, I decided to come back and get some today uh, simply because, uh, mom, don't tell dad. I wanna make a little meal for dad. I did laundry. I don't understand how this happens. It's like either one sock shrunk or one really grew, oh, I got a hole in that one anyway. Oh, dang it, it's a holy sock. Gotta wait till Sunday to wear it. It's like the sock gnome stole one of each. It's playing with me. All right, like I said yesterday, guys, I had this running for a minute yesterday inside the house last night. It was quite smoky in here. <laughs> um, so I've charged up the battery again. I want to try and give this another shot. We're going to get it running today. We're going to. Oh, I didn't get it, the camera fell down. I'm gonna have to try and do it again, hold on. It's running really rich right now, so I'm gonna have to adjust it, but that's not necessarily a horrible thing.
is great. <laughs> she is so tired out right now. Look at her. <laughs> She's like, no more. No more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, out of gas. Woo! <laughs> Are you all tired out, Buffy? Are you tired? <laughs> oh, this is great. Well, it gets both of us off the couch, right? Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Oh my gosh, it's been like five minutes and she still hasn't recovered yet. Oh, look at that tongue. Look at that. Was that fun? Does daddy know how to exercise you now? Good girl. I think I found a way to attach the GoPro, at least temporarily, to the car. I don't know what kind of footage we're going to get. I'm not even sure it's going to restart again, but we'll see. I broke my axle. Gosh dang it. Arr. Well, 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 you know what they say. I don't know, that, I'm sure that they say something. Oh, Troy just cut the cheese. Ha ha! And it doesn't stink, it smells fairly good. We are gonna do some burgers. Not for you. Buns. Not for you. Swiss cheese. Again, not for you. On the Barbie. Because I'm hungry and it's about that time. So let's get dinner going. I hope that you guys enjoy the, the footage. I just got through uh, reviewing it a little bit of uh, the onboard Revo cam, because that's what that thing's called. It's called the, uh, the Revo, R-E-V-O. It's made by Traxxas, T-R-A-X-X-A-S, and it's nitro powered. And I think she's recovered. Yep, pretty sure. Mmm, yummy. Alrighty, you guys cook. Do you guys uh, remember these things from like buns? These things right here? Something I always used to like to do as a kid is break them in half. Like this. And then you put them in your finger, like this. You put that part underneath your fingernail, like that. And then you launch them. Buffy. <laughs> she didn't even see it was so fast. Here you go again, you guys ready? And I don't know where it went. Brings back childhood memories as it does. And here we have the Buffy in her unnatural habitat, intently looking at the cameraman when she should be studying what's across the road. What's across the road, Buffy? What is that? Hello, Mr. Raccoon. That's right, you stay on your side of the road. Mwahaha. It's the. <coughs> It's the masked bandit. <laughs> Buffy, I guarantee it. You don't want to mess with that. I don't think that'd have a really good outcome for you. I'm just saying. What a fun and exciting day, huh? Didn't know that it was going to be like that, did we? Didn't think that you were going to get a workout. So now, now I know how to give her a good workout. <laughs> Stretch her legs. I think she's still tired. 
All right, guys, so it is time for COC, so let's get through it. Captain Zone 2, you were first, and you say, won the pole position. Well, I suppose you did. Oh, and Jolson, just to let you know, um, after I get done editing, I am going to watch more Supernatural tonight, but at least I'm doing COC before I do that, right? Yeah. Very useless words. I'm slowly working on my fear of thunder and lightning. When I was younger, around five or six, my dad and I sat outside during a storm and lightning struck a tree nearby. So close where I could hear the crackle. Ever since then, I don't like being outside during a storm. I can understand that. Um, it hit the house next to me while I was living here years and years ago, um, but it, it didn't do anything. So I'm not sure it actually touched, but it got like the power pole. It was, it, it was, it was like, it was crazy. It was bright, and there was no hesitation with the the thunder. It was the lightning and the thunder at the same time, and it was loud, and it felt like the house blew apart. It was that loud. It was ridiculous. It was so cool. Oh, God, that is not cool. Buffy, jeez. Gosh, I can taste it. That's disgusting. Oh, my God. Oh, that's just horrible. Okay, let's get through this. I need a gas mask. Oh, my gosh. Seriously, I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, jeez. Buffy, what did you eat? All right. <laughs> LJ Mike 1204 Troy, you can get a pull cord for the RC car. Oh, um... Oh, God. I, I have one. It, it's I, I just don't want to put it on <laughs> because it's so much easier when uh, when that thing works, the electric start. The Haunting at Shireman Homestead. Great videos, Troy. Keep up the good work. I'm going to have to add you on Periscope. Well, thank you, and please do. Branson Haunted Hills. Uh, you are so close to 13,000 subs. I am. I am. We are. We are. It's It's all of us. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be that close. So it takes everybody. And you also say that you want an air horn on your Jeep. I did a little research tonight, and as far as Washington state law, RCW 46.37.380, horns, warning devices, and theft alarms. Every motor vehicle, when operated on a highway, shall be equipped with a horn in good working order and capable of emitting sound audible under normal conditions from a distance of not less than 200 feet, but no horn or other warning device may emit an unreasonably loud or harsh sound or a whistle. So, in other words, train horns, illegal on cars here in Washington State. It's probably like that everywhere. Uh, but it says every motor vehicle. So if semis can have an air horn, so can an, a passenger vehicle. That's the way that I read this anyway. So there you go. The more you know the legal aspect of today's Hellmouth vlog. Uh, Tony Fredrickson, I have not seen I Am Legend. I do like Will Smith though. Emerald Gypsy Heart. Uh, you're talking about like pools and heaters and stuff and saying that you have to purchase some black plastic um, You need two or three yards. Do they have a uh, Or do you need to purchase a huge roll or does it come in smaller quantities? It does come in smaller quantities. You're gonna have to check them. Um, it comes in small smaller rolls I believe of I think of 25 feet <laughs> Bob Ross the RC truck must be a Ford <laughs> No kidding and and that kind of uh, 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 Proves your point today with the the half shaft braking or the drive axle. Nightwalker Exploria, I see that you're just focusing on life stuff and summer stuff first. Any Halloween projects in the next month or so? I don't know. It's really going to depend on on what happens because um, I'm going through a bunch of personal like huge horrible drama right now, and then we're going to see what what happens after that's done. Uh, final comment of the night, Tweety Fashion Dancer. Yes, you can have a semi horn in your truck. My brother just put one in his truck, which goes back to. Uh, uh, I read your comment, and then I want to make sure it was okay for you. That's why I looked up the RCW, and it looks like it's okay. So, all right, guys. Happy haunting. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope it wasn't too much of the RC car, and I hope I didn't blow your eardrums out. I tried to adjust the audio a little bit. I'm not sure if you noticed that or not. Um, but anyway, and it, it doesn't matter because the vlog's over now. So make sure you give a thumbs up. Um, share it on all the social media. All the links are down below. Um, yeah, so happy haunting. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, but while you're awake... Yeah, we're all well, not. Um, but while you're awake.